Hello, what's up everybody? This is your friend XJ Adriano. I'm going to show you how to make the parameters of uh, SVP. This is for a uh, smooth video player. It's here, it's the this little icon right here. I'm going to right click on it and it opens the, the parameters of this one so we are going to go to the about so it's smooth video player 3.1.6 so this is a free software that makes your video run smoothly so uh, I'm going to go to the parameters of this software here I like it a lot it changed everything about the video it's like if it's uh, another video so now here you have the video profiles this is the default you see here SVP is going to check the video and decides which profile to apply to it now I have put uh, an HD uh, video right here and it decided that it's closer to the 1920 by 800 so it decided to make this profile let's go and check this profile I click on it and now here you have these options the first one is from interpolation mode as you can see it has a small description balance between smoothness strength and uh, artifacts visibility uh, control the numbers of interpolated frames in resulting video it has put the dot m here the one m so there are others one m is average so it's average but it's not the default the default is adaptive so it put the average let's keep it average I'm, go I'm not going to change these things have been decided automatically so SVP shaders if you have watched my previous video I said that I did not use shaders with with the Windows Media Player so this one here uses the shaders it's, uh, the shaders are you know them uh, they have been all the rage since uh, year 2000 they have been introduced with the DirectX I, I think it's the direct x7 and they change the visual effects on the screen so this shaders here intermediate frames calculation algorithm affects video sharpness and artifact masking mm -hmm. you have sharp for anime it means for for mangas and stuff like that so this the, the video I'm going to show you the video uh, later on this is a commercial for the for a, a pickup car so here you have chart you have for slow PCs by plug etc it's on chart here so it's going to stay there target frame rate so this one I'm not sure if, if it's the default or not but uh, this is what I want to screen refresh rate it means it's, it's going to, to use the screen refresh rate here it's default so it must have been default but you can change it 25 to 60 this is the frames here uh, this is the screen refresh rate motion vector grid know what it means but uh, step in pixels between adjacent motion vectors recommended values are 20 uh, are 12 by 16 smaller is not always better if it's smaller it's not always better but uh, the default is 12 uh, it's 24 pixel here decrease grid step Decrease motion vectors grid. Uh, step with average and refinement. Not that uh, refinement is extremely heavy operation. 
So it's disabled by default. Search motion vector, search radius, more is better, but may produce window blinds. Window blinds, I don't like them, that's why I did not change this. It sounds small, the, the default is average, but the, the, this one, the, the window blind, is when the screen goes black. Motion vector precision, precision of motion vectors affects search. More is better. More is better, but it comes at the price. The price is heavy use of the CPU. White search, how far for search for motion vector? In case normal search can find a good one, just leave it by default. So average is default. You have disabled strong, strong it. Let's keep it. This one here, artifacts masking. Strength in area with low quality motion vectors. High value may reduce smoothness. Not recommended for animation. This one is disabled, you have weak, weak, average, above, this one is disabled, processing of scene changes. What to do when scene changes is detected, repeat frame or blend adjust, this looks like interpolation. So this one is re uh, repeat frame default, decrease frame size, well, I mean, you don't need to be smart to choose the screen size. If you are going to watch something, it must, it must go with the screen size. So let's keep it on the screen size. As I did not change anything here, I'm going to click on cancel. What is this here? Show height CPU. The CPU usage is, I mean, uh, memory used. This one is where I, the, the SVP now is paused, so it's not using the CPU. Let's click on cancel here. And let's go back to it. Processing thread auto, stereo, I don't have 3D here, so it's plain. 2D frame crop disabled, I don't want it to change the screen, the size of the screen. Auto lightning disabled. Video delay, the zero, demonstration mode, tuning test. So this one you need to change it. Don't turn off on seek, because otherwise it's going to jitter a lot. Language, if you are English or Russian. If you are not Russian, you choose English. Talk video playback, process priority above normal. Uh, it was normal, I changed it to above normal, because uh, I, I want most of the CPU to go to video playing and not to other tasks. Video repair, screen selections, profiles, choose one with the nearest pixel ratio. No rate. Uh, generate AVS script information. Additional information. So this is the information about the video. Uh, I use reclock here. So now let's play the video. So now the video looks like it. Did. Yeah. So you you, ca you can't really see the smoothness because I am recording this at uh, at 15 images per second, but you can definitely check the, the smoothness. I'm going to click here. This is Reclock. Reclock is another software. So video stream is 60, 60 frames per second because smooth uh, SVP changes the frame per second it goes from 25 to 60 it makes it smooth 
and that's the everything about this software here uh, I'm going to write about it in future videos but right now you just saw what it needs to be seen right now so uh, peace and uh, keep checking on my uh, channels uh, to get the best uh, tips to get the best video bank and see ya